Hey guys, sorry I couldn't be there in person, but I wanted to walk you through creating user accounts. So in order for the workout buddies to work, we need to know who the buddies are and who we want to connect to. So in this example, I'm going to create two accounts and then show you how those connections work. So first we've integrated with authentication and we've added or are using two sign in methods just to keep it simple for now, which is email and Google signing in uh, as a uh, new account. And uh, this is pulling up my Google accounts and giving me an option to select which Google account. Then the system is looking uh, at that information and uh, pulling in the Google image that I've got. And then uh, we ask for address because being a buddy, you need to know where your buddies are located. Uh, a little about me. And I'm going to go ahead and submit that. And so now I've created my account. And if we take a look over here and refresh this, we will now see uh, the account information and the user ID that was created by authentication system. This account in our database. So in order to accomplish this, we started our index page. If we have an authenticated user, which uh, Firebase auth method will give us, uh, then we uh, perform these functions. If we don't have, then send us over to the login page. So the only people that are going to be able to see these profile pages are people who have logged in and created an account. On the login, we're using uh, the sign in with success to store the sign in, the authentication information, Firebase auth information into the Firebase database under users. We then go to the profile page, which is just what we saw here. So let's take another look at that with our test account so we can set up our profile, complete the profile process. Let's say I want to connect with someone. So let's uh, send out a connect request. Come over here, we'll now see I've got a connect request. Let's take a look at what's happening in the database for all of this. Or taking a look at our user, Patrick Harold, he has a request and that request is from this tester. If we take a look at our test account, we see he's connected with a buddy and that buddy is me, Patrick Harold. Both of these statuses are pending until the connection request is approved. So we're going to delete that request and create a buddy. And there we have the test buddy. And we're going to update that status to connected. So now we have uh, created and connected users through the database.